Okay, you have your Luger field stripped, you have all the pieces cleaned that you want to clean, and now you're ready to put the Luger back together. Uh, you're going to start exactly the opposite of the way you took it apart. You start by sliding the firing pin down in. It has a lineup groove on it. Then you go in with the back portion of the extractor. You turn it. You'll actually feel it click into place, but it should be vertical when it's correct. Starts into the back of the receiver. It's easy to find the groove. Lift up on the back of the toggle, slide it back in. Then exactly the opposite of how I disassembled it. I take the receiver axle, slide it back through. Now I'm going to go ahead and lock the toggle in the lower position and I'm going to set it upside down on the table. I'm going to take the receiver, the lower receiver. Now when I was taking it apart I went ahead and pulled the hold open bar out just to show you how it's done. Show you how simple, that's how simple the hold open bar goes back in. Now with the lower complete and ready to go on, I simply take it, set it on, and I slide it to this point. Now at this point, I turn the gun over, and when the coupling link falls on the front side of the recoil lever, which it's difficult to see in this, when it falls on the front side of it, simply push back, Insert your magazine, cock the weapon. It will stay locked at that point. Take the trigger plate, start it from the back, let it drop in, the front goes down last, rotate the locking bolt back up, remove the magazine, and you're back together. If you want to bring the firing pin down without pulling the trigger and just letting it fall because it's not good for it, cock it to the first notch, pull the trigger, and lower it down, and you'll release the firing pin. Extremely simple weapon.